happy Thursday, everyone. I have my, uh, my Michelob today, and I want to talk about messaging. So messaging is one of those things that is not super complicated, but it's something that people get confused about <laughs> a lot. So I wanted to bring it up today. So basically what messaging is, is it's just like your your underlying values really as, as a brand like what is the main overall message that you want to get across with your brand so like when somebody lands on your web page or reads a blog post or or whatever it is you know follows you on social media you want to make sure that your message is clear and coming through in all of those different touch all of those different brand touch points so and like an example of that would be um, like a lot of, <laughs> and this is a cheesy example just because I think it's super vague and overused, but it's a good one to, to show what I'm talking about is empowering women <laughs> is like a an, an overarching message that a lot of brands feel like that's their mission to share. So, <coughs> sorry. <laughs> It's been a long day today. I'm like off my game, so I apologize in advance. <laughs> so when we're talking about like what what is messaging then, it's really the that underarching or underlying foundation of your brand and the theme of your brand. And if if you could pick one specific thing that your audience walked away with after an encounter with your brand, whether it's working with you one-on-one -on -one or even looking at your website, like what is that one main point that you want to get across? And it's usually something that's, it's specific, but it's also like a value, not like a, I'll help you do this specific thing. It's like a, the deeper meaning and the deeper why behind what it is that you do. So like with my stuff, I talk a lot about just being yourself and using your personality. So like my messaging and my message that I try to incorporate into all those different brand touch points is that you don't have to be fake. <laughs> like You don't have to do anything but just be yourself to build a brand. And that is the, the best way to do it. So the, uh, the cool way to like study the, the messaging of other people is to kind of pick people who you feel like have a really strong message. Um, people like, like Gary V <laughs> is a good, is a good example of, and whether you agree with, you know, the way that he does things or not, it doesn't matter. It's still cool to go and look at, like, the different ways that the messaging comes through across all of the brand's touch points. So if he's talking about, you know, one specific thing in his video, a certain video, it probably still ties back to his overarching message as a business. So that's really cool. That's a really cool thing, too, to go back and, and look at to study messaging. Um, so how do you like, how do you create a strong message then? <laughs> That's, it, it's easy to talk about and it's easy to, to talk about your, you know, your business and what you want to do and all the ways that you're going to help people, but it's a little bit harder to articulate, articulate that in a way that people get it when they, when they read your website or, or talk to you in a video or on whatever it is. So how, how you create that strong message is to really do the inner the inner work I guess <laughs> if you want to talk about it in kind of like a woo-woo way but basically just focus on your why like why are you doing what you do and that's usually that's usually the the core driver of your business anyway but I think a lot of people forget to talk about that <laughs> like everybody has their own personal why and their own personal reasons for doing what they do like like I was talking a second ago, mine, mine about just being yourself and, you know, using your personality for everything. That's really my core message. And it comes from like sitting in a cube forever and like feeling like I couldn't really do what I wanted to do or do anything, do what made me happy. And like I was having to put on a fake face all the time to just, you know, <laughs> be civil <laughs> in, in the, in the corporate environment. And that's where my message comes from. And if you go and you read, you know, different blog posts or watch different videos and stuff, I talk about that a lot and it comes out a lot. Even if the actual post or the actual video is talking about like 
logos or <laughs> setting boundaries with your clients or whatever it is, the underlying message and the, the reason behind it comes through in everything. That's really, that's really how you create that strong message is to make sure that it comes through in every single aspect of your brand. And it takes a lot of work to do that. It definitely does. You have to be very conscious of what you like uh, of what you're saying and what you're doing. So that's why the the best the best message that you can do is just or the best message you can give is just something that you feel strongly and passionately about anyway because then it's not it's not hard. <laughs> it's just you being you and it comes out. <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much my messaging talk. It's short and simple today. Like I said, messaging is not anything that's super complicated, but I get a lot of questions about it. And I think it's just one of those brand words that's really, um, it's really overused. And I think some of its meaning has gotten a little bit lost. <laughs> so I just wanted to hop on and clarify that one today. I know the, I'm going to have to play with the times of these calls too. So I know this is like a weird time for most people. So Make sure you watch the, if you're watching the replay and you have any questions or anything, let me know. And I'm, I'll try to play with these times a little bit and, and make it a, a better time for more people to join live. Because obviously I would love it if everybody could join live and ask your questions, you know, right then and there. But I, will, I do always go back and read the comments um, on the replay. So let me know if you have any questions about messaging or anything else. And I will be back in here on Sunday for Spotlight Sunday with Amber. And Amber's going to be talking about um, how to how to write badass bios for your for yourself because that's I know that's something that a lot of people struggle with like talking about yourself <laughs> is really difficult. So Amber's going to be here talking about that and it's going to be freaking amazing. So come back on Sunday, and I can't wait to see you then. Let me know if you have any questions. You guys have a good night.